everybody, welcome back to Epic Beauty Fail. I'm Jessica. And I'm John. And today we're doing our August face mask video. We are. Uh, I love this video. I love having John in this video. I think it's fun. I think it's face masky. <laughs> Anyhow, we are going to be doing the same face mask today. We haven't done this in a while. We used to do this. When we first started doing face masks, a lot of the times we would do the same or similar face masks. Maybe not exactly the same, but similar ones. Yes. Um, but this one we got, or I got, in my glossy box last month in July. It was either July or June that I got these um, face masks uh, in the glossy box. And these are from Skin Cosmetics. And the reason why we're both doing them is because they expire on September 10th. So huh. we're filming this at the end of July for August and we wanted to make sure that we got them done before they expired. So again, this is the Skin Cosmetics. This is the Infusion Recover and Renew Single Use Facial Mask. And I'm gonna go ahead and read the directions here and then John and I will get them on. <laughs> so this says, start with clean, dry skin. You're good? Um, as good as <laughs> I ever am. Remove from packet and gently peel film back I'm sorry, gently pe peel film backing from the mask sheet and discard. Use mask of your choice once per week. If desired, may use both masks in same week. Now, I don't know what that means. I don't know if they have another type of mask or what, but that, that when I read the directions earlier, that sort of threw me for a loop. Uh, for recover and renew mask, which is this one, place squarely on the entire face, smoothing to fit the curves of the face, adjusting round eyes, nose, and mouth. Leave on for 15 to 20 minutes or longer for maximum absorption. I think we're probably gonna go for 15 minutes. We are. Okay. To remove, peel off the mask and wipe off any excess liquid. Do not rinse, discard the mask after single use. And then it has all the ingredients. And that's pretty much all it says. It doesn't really say any like claims on what it's supposed to do for the skin or anything like that. It just, that that's that's pretty much it. Yeah. So, recover and renew is recover the recover and renew. That's the that's the claim. Yeah. So I'm gonna be like Ponce de Leon. Do you want to pull your hair back real quick? Sure. John's been growing his hair out lately, yes. so. I don't know if I ever announced it on this. Can I say this now? Yeah. I don't know if I ever announced it on this channel, but our son Neil uh, drew his hair long to donate, and I. I don't know. I was like. I was really, I felt that that was really cool for my 18 year old to do that. And I was like, why? I mean, why can't I grow my hair? I mean, I'm 40 something years old, and if I want to grow my hair long and donate it, I, you know. Who's going to tell you you can't? Who's going to tell me I can't? So I started. I think the big problem is that it's taking me, I feel like it's taking me forever to grow it. It has taken you a little bit longer than it took him, yes. So. so I'll just. This You're stuff. good there? Okay. Uh, it's my hairline showing. <laughs> All okay. right. All right, let's get, get... Oh, I just got splashed in the face. She got... Uh, after. Okay. Okay. All right. I can't <laughs> say that I've ever gotten anything from Skin Cosmetics before. I could be wrong. I just can't remember getting anything from Skin Cosmetics. It smells a little like bug spray. <laughs> it smells like face masks. Oh, that's right. Right. And the hard part is figuring out where to start peeling. Where to start peeling. Okay, there you go. I got mine open. And my gosh, it is like dripping. I don't know that the camera will pick it up. It probably won't. But like, there is so much moisture on this mask that <laughs> this eyeball over here actually has like a, a puddle. Bubble. Yeah, it has a bubble. <sighs> there, I popped it. Well, you're super cool. Okay. So I guess it doesn't matter what side goes on. I don't think so. All right, well, I'm going to... But my gosh, this is a damp... My, the mouth of it's now doing it. This is very, very wet. And I don't typically like that, so... No? Well, yeah. To me, it smells like lemon. It's uh, a very... It is cold. A lemon uh, a scent to it. Okay. Oh my gosh, it's dripping. You need to grow a beard. <laughs> My beard is, or my goatee right now is catching all mine. Most women don't typically like to wear, to have facial hair. I, I can only imagine, but I'm just saying, if, if they I don't want beard, their, I if they don't want their uh, face mask drippings to run down their neck, 
grow a beard. Okay. All right. I am dripping all over the place. Okay. Huh. Are you in place? I, I, I am, I believe. Okay. I've been using the viewfinder to place my mask. All right, I have to figure out how to get the my hands dry enough that I can get the timer started. Does it look right? Like yours looks like. Yeah. Is that okay? Yeah. Okay. All right, I'm going to go ahead and set a timer. All right, there we go. It is set for 15 minutes. We will see you all in 15 minutes. All right, we are back 15 minutes later, and it's very cold. It stopped dripping. Once I actually wiped the bottom of, the t of this with a tissue, it stopped dripping, which was good. I managed to, after we turned the camera off, I was putting, throwing a bunch of the stuff away, and I managed to get some of the liquid all over John's pants, all over the table. Yeah. There's a mess. I, the reason I kept one of these is because I want to just make sure I, I did the follow-up directions. It says, uh, peel off the mask, wipe off any excess liquid. A lot of times you say to, like, rub it in. But this says wipe it off. Do not wrench. Yeah, wrench. Do not rinse. Discard the mask after single use. So, Bam. do you want a tissue? Yeah, I'll take one. Okay. With as moist as that stuff is, I might need two. Okay. Whew. There's definitely, a, like, a yellow residue coming off. That's not cool. That's not cool. I agree. All right, I'm not going to wipe. I'm just going to pat mine. Why? Because I just want to get the dampness off. I don't necessarily want to, like, get rid of all of the product, if that makes sense. Well, listen, I can tell you this. My skin is uh, cold and clammy. Yes, like I would agree. Like it said, it, like it's had something cold and wet sitting on it for 15, 15 minutes. minutes. So, I mean, and, and it's in my, you know... Although I don't have a full beard right now, I still have a lot of stubble. It's all in there. I mean, my stuff ain't go. I mean, I, I wiped it off, but it ain't going anywhere. Yeah. So, I mean, I definitely feel... I definitely feel like it's moisturized my skin. Um, I, I would almost tell you that it looks a little bit blurring. Like, on the pores a little bit. What do you like mean blurring? Uh, some of my pores look a little smaller. Oh. Well, I don't know if that that was, I don't know that that was actually like something that I was supposed to do, but I feel like my pores look a little bit smaller and that just could be because it was so cold. Yeah. Yeah, I guess. I mean, I don't know. I mean, I'm not a very big, I don't study my pores. You don't put a lot of makeup on either though. Uh, yeah. <laughs> what? I don't put a lot of makeup on either, but still, nonetheless, um, I would say that Actually, that felt good because I was out playing soccer with Nikki. So I mean, it's good. I feel good about it, but it's not tingly, so I, I can't complain about that. Yeah, it's not that. tingly. Um, my so. face just feels cool, which is nice. Yeah. Um, it's a little sticky, but that's just probably the product that hasn't right. come off I mean, yet. I don't. I'm not gonna fault it for that, but uh, other than that, I really can't say. I mean, I don't know. It feels I, moisturized. Like, I would. Yeah, I would say that. In the year and a half we've been doing these masks, which we've done like one a month, right? Right. And we don't really do face masks. I don't normally, he doesn't normally do face masks other than this video. But for the year and a half we've been doing face masks, and I know I should. I know I should. Um, I would tell you that from my experience, I have been hard pressed to find a, fa a sheet mask yeah. that I feel does something more than like cools the skin and and maybe does a little bit a little bit of plur, uh pore blurring like my nose my pores look a little bit smaller but again that just could be because it was cold right so i mean i i personally think that the like um mud masks or the cream masks do a better job of actually doing something for the skin than i would agree with than that. the face the sheet masks do i would agree with that oh and but like to me i think if you did this on if you Part, made this part of your regular skin routine. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm sure there would be a benefit over time. Over time, 
Yeah. But the problem is, is that these things are what, like five bucks a pop, six bucks a pop. It varies. I mean, some are like I think the most expensive one I used was like twelve dollars. I got that in a beauty box. But you can buy face masks for like a buck or two at like Walmart and Target, like two yeah, bucks, three bucks. I mean, how? I mean, I, I don't know. And you to can me, you can buy well, some of the mud masks for. To me, I just don't. I don't see. know. Maybe ten bucks for a couple of uses. I mean, you can buy a jug of cream or whatever, right? Mm-hmm. And then just smear a bunch of cream on and let it, let it well, sit on Well, a you. lot of these actually say they have some sort of purpose. Like, they actually do something for your well, this, skin. This, this, this and all this says is recover and renew. Yeah. So I don't know exactly what that is supposed to mean. Um, well, there's Actually, a, let me look it up on their website real quick. There's a lot of things that people claim, and we don't really know what exactly they mean. You know anti-aging well i mean come on it's not reversing time i don't feel time slow <laughs> when they stuck when i put it on my face so i feel like my skin is a little bit tighter to be honest well tighter yeah like like um yeah like it's minimizing my pores a little bit like it feels a little bit tighter on my forehead yeah, I'm looking. I just searched for the words renew and restore, and it's not coming. There's not nothing's coming up. Interesting. Perhaps we just used a discontinued product. Well, and I and I will say this: the um, the product expires next month. Right. So, it's you know it's not a new product by any means, and right. maybe that's why. Maybe they got out of the face mask biz. Maybe. Move um, the creams. Yeah, it's not coming up. There's nothing on their website about it. So, yeah. Oh, well. I would tell you what it's supposed to do, but you I can't. What? So, anyway, I, I hope you enjoyed I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up down below. If you haven't already and you would like to be, please hit the red subscribe button. And don't forget to hit that little bell to notify you when I do upload new videos. And uh, leave any comments you have down in the comment section down below. John does join me for at least this video every month. And I've been trying to get him more involved in my look videos as well. Come and, come and give me his opinion. So if you like seeing John, hit that red subscribe button. Let me know in the comment section down below. Any person who has any mercy for me, please leave a comment saying... Yeah, that I'm excused. Uh, I mean, I do this at, uh, uh, at my wife's leisure. Oh, so uh, I have no, no burning desire to, to be. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you on the next Epic Beauty Fail. Bye.